Now question number five. In this question, we have two headings, float, which is in meters, and then cost, which is in rupees. So in question, it says that if five meter of cloth costs rupees 1500, how much cloth will he buy with rupees 15,000? So again, let us see, is it a direct variation or inverse? Because if we have more money, we can get more cloth. So in both of the headings, we use the word more. So ratio is, proportion is direct or variation is direct. So arrowheads will be on the same side. Use head and tail rule. So x by 5 is equal to 15,000 divided by 1500. Now cross multiply. First of all, simplify it. These two zeros will cancel each other. 15 ones are 15 and here 15 ones are 15. 10 fives are 50. So with 15,000 15, rupees, we can get 50 meter of cloth. So this is the answer. Now question number six, first select the headings. There are two headings, kilogram and centimeter in length. Weight or mass in kilogram and increase in spring. This increase in, in centimeter. Now, let us suppose that there is a spring. If weight is hung with it, it will stretch. If some weight is hung with it, it will stretch. Now, this is the increase in the spring. Now let us suppose that this is the increase in the spring if we if the weight is 50 kilogram now we will write in question if weight is 50 kilogram the increase is 2.5 centimeter now if spring is stretched up to 7.5 centimeter then how much will be the weight now again if we think over these two headings i have already told you that do not do not never look on these numbers never look on these numbers just look on these headings now According to these headings, if mass is increased, uh, spring is also stretched more. More the mass, more, more the stretch in spring. For direct variation, we, we put arrows on same side. Now again, use the law of head to tail or head to tail rule. First write x over 50, then 7.5 over 2.5. After that, cross multiply, we will get 
7.5 multiply 50 over 2.5 now 25 ones are 25 and 22 25 twos are 50 now multiply 75 with 2 we get 150 so we will write with unit with it kilogram 